Well, I get a lot of questions about what kind of gear I take with me when I travel and do photography. And I've posted a few videos from the field kind of showing what I'm using at that moment. And I've shown pictures and done lists of my gear. But I thought I've got it all laid out right here. This is normally what I do when I'm gonna travel is I lay out all my gear and make sure I have a visual of everything that I'm taking. Um, and then I pack it away. So I thought, what better time than now to actually do a video. I'm getting ready to go to Nepal with Operation Blessing and I'm here in our little studio which is in my office and uh, I've got all my gear laid out for what I'm going to take. And this time it's a little bit different than what I normally take. Um, I've got the Canon 5D Mark III which is my main camera for video and photos. Um, <clears throat> and on this right now is an 85 1.2 which I take rarely with me out into the field, but um, I've been using it recently and the images are just so great on it that I'm forcing myself to take it and use it and uh, get some great images. Um, so along with this, I'm uh, taking the Fuji Pro or X-Pro One. And it's got a 35 millimeter 1.4 on it. And I've also got the 14 millimeter 2.8. And so these will just be a, a prime camera for portraits, maybe a little B-roll. Um, kind of, the Fuji video system isn't super great. It's something I'm hoping that they improve on. Uh, normally I carry as my second camera a Sony NEX um, 5N, and I've got several lenses for that. But it, it does a great job being small and compact and getting photos that are very usable, but it does an excellent job with video too. And so. Uh, I'm making myself take this even though it doesn't have the same video capabilities. Uh, with the Canon system, um, the 70 to 200, this is the IS uh, 2.8, and uh, this is great for long shots that uh, I need to, uh, to be able to zoom in. It's really heavy, and a lot of times I take it with me and it never leaves my bag. And to carry around a brick like this is kind of tough. I normally have the 24 to 105. F4, which is a great all-around lens. It's got image stabilization for video. Like if I could only have one lens, uh, that would probably be one of the options because it can just do everything. It can zoom pretty far. It's pretty wide. Uh, it's really sharp, and uh, the image stabilizer makes it really great for handheld video, which is a lot of what I do is handheld. Um, my favorite lens, however, is the 16 to 35 uh, wide angle. Um, it's not as sharp as the 24 to 105, but it's really, uh, it's got a nice soft feel to uh, the images, especially wide open. And uh, at 16 millimeter, which is where I like to live on it, it's just like, it creates another world with how wide the images are. But I can zoom into 35 and get a, a great portrait. Um, so that one always comes with me. Uh, normally I'd have a 50 millimeter, which I'm not taking here. And like I said, the 24 to 105. And, uh, and this guy, and it's hit or miss whether whether he comes with me, this big, big papa. But uh, I've been using the Sony as a zoom uh, that's much lighter, small, and for the few zoom shots that I do, I just use the Sony. Um, I like being in close and personal with the people that I'm shooting and as I'm telling their stories, uh, so most of the lenses I use cater to that. Um, so, baggage-wise, I used to carry big roller bags, but international airports weigh my luggage, my carry-on, which I always fail their weight tests. So I try and make it discreet. And in a small bag like this Urban Disguise here, it's the uh, 35 version 2.0. Nobody thinks anything of a bag this size. But I can start packing in my stuff here and show you. I can get quite a bit of my stuff um, into this bag. Uh, and it'll be really heavy, but nobody will know it. Another thing I'm taking with me is this 45 millimeter tilt shift Canon. Um, very underutilized by me. Um, awesome lens. A um, little bit difficult to use and I'm usually rushing around so I'm hoping to take the time to really utilize this lens. Um, Zucuto viewfinder. Excellent for uh, sunny days. Can snap it on and off so I can see the viewfinder when I'm shooting video without glare. Um, I'm very minimalist when I shoot. I like to shoot like this and I can shoot video. I can put it up to my eye, take pictures. So um, unless I'm really focusing on video or doing interviews uh, or things where the um, 
the exposure is critical, I'll just shoot right off the viewfinder here and use the metering on the camera. Um, but it's a great viewfinder. I did happen to uh, have it swinging on my uh, rapid strap one day for a long time on my second camera and the sun came through magnified and burned up a whole bunch of pixels on my camera. So that's one thing you should be uh, aware of when using something like these Zacudos uh, or any type of magnifying uh, device on your camera. Um, GoPro, everybody knows these things are rugged, you can strap them to stuff, they go where other cameras can't go, get wet, I'll shoot time lapse with it, other things while I'm shooting my other cameras. Love to mount it on a car with the suction cup mount, uh, but I've also got the tripod adapter on it so I can just quickly fire off uh, a bunch of uh, time lapses or whatever I need to. So i just keep packing stuff into my bag here, I get this thing nice and heavy. Uh, extra batteries, um, I've only got three here, I'm planning to take four for the, the Canon, uh, two for the Fuji. Um, this kind of stuff I'll usually just pack away into my uh, clothes bag because I'm trying to go as much as I can with carry-on only. So my chargers and my batteries I'll stick in with carry-on. Uh, two fader filters, uh, 77 millimeter, 72 to fit on the, the different lenses that I have. Um, these will slide into my front pouch here. Uh, audio, because I do a lot of video work, I have the, so or the Zoom H4n to be able to plug in mics into it or record voices. Uh, in Kenya this past trip, I actually used it in the car and we just recorded a girl's voice in the car using this. Got really clean, clean audio. Uh, but other than that, on camera I use the Sennheiser. It's a MKE 400, I believe and uh, the wind muff thing is a big must on this. If you're gonna buy this, don't bother getting it unless you get one of these. Uh, indoors, outdoors, this thing uh, really helps out. And uh, I'm always shocked. I'll shoot with this and think, man, I'm, I'm really afraid of the audio. It was a bit windy. And uh, I'll get back and just blown away by this microphone. Um, two Sony Lavs for uh, interviews great little lav. Best part is it's got a little uh, microphone so it can be um, clipped on and be small or one of the things I do is I'll take the clip off and I'll tape it on the inside of somebody's uh, shirt using gaff tape and gaff tape is something that you'll hear photographers talk about. They'll tape it to their tripods. I just fold it over itself multiple times and keep a little flat one in my back pocket. Um, so these all go into another think tank bag. I've really come to like the uh, Think Tank bags. Their systems are pretty amazing and they're geared towards photographers and video professionals. The zippers on these things are really rugged. Uh, on other bags that I've used, the zippers start to pull away from the fabric. And on these, I mean, they're as rugged as they come. So um, one of the things I do with this, and actually I can take the zoom back out and I can put it into here. And uh, I didn't buy, they make attachments for the Urban Disguise that allows it to uh, mount extra bags on the side, but I just got this uh, wireless kit from them for holding uh, either flashes, I, I think, or, uh, or wireless loft systems. And so what I do is I just strap it onto this um, top handle here like this. I don't usually get in trouble for having a third bag for doing that. Most people don't even notice it. Um, <clears throat> this is a cam troll. Uh, it basically is a platform for your camera. You can set it on and use it with an overhead handle. Um, one of the other neat things that it does is you can break it down and use it uh, in a chest position like this to shoot. Um, or if you want, you can also this around here and make yourself kind of a shoulder mount to use all with this little uh, guy here that folds down and breaks down pretty small when I actually put it in my bag but that'll get checked um, rapid strap as I mentioned before so the camera will hang on my side two reflectors small one 
that I'll stick just on my back, a bigger one that I'll use. Uh, It'll come in, hopefully come in my checked luggage. Everything that goes in my checked luggage, I, I have to be able to live without because I can't tell you how many times I arrive and my bags don't. And I can't wait around in the main city for it to come in. We're on a car driving eight hours out into the field. and um, So I just need it to be able to arrive with me. So this will go in my bag with my clothes. Um, Three-legged thing tripod, as you can see it's very small, so three-legged thing Brian, uh, carbon fiber, really lightweight, extends to about seven and a half feet tall. I use it as a light stand or uh, monopod, uh, one of the legs screw off into a monopod, but it's so lightweight that I usually just um, take the legs and push them together and just use it as a monopod this way. But uh, really like this thing, uh, impressed with it. it was really cheap compared to the competitors and cost is a big deal for me and that fits into my carry-on bag um, so that's excellent uh, off-camera flash with two pocket wizards um, sometimes I'll carry two of these but I always carry the extra pocket wizard because for some reason sometimes one doesn't work but you use a different one and it works and you never know which it's going to be and then because this can be a little bit tricky at times I always carry a cable that I can just have somebody pull this one's a little shorter than what I need but we just stretch it and pull I pull against the guy holding the flash and uh, we make do with this little cable it's nice because it's small enough that again I can pack it in here my bags getting nice and full uh, one of the things if you've looked at my photography you notice that I like to use a lot of the off-camera flash uh, and one of the things that I really like is this Photoflex light dome. It's the extra small. Um, it's the XS, but uh, it puts together real quickly. As you can see, I pretty much just put it together that quick. We'll mount it on uh, just a monopod or something, or just handhold it. Have somebody handhold it. Really softens the light. It's got a pretty good sized face for traveling with, but breaks down real small. That goes in my carry on with my clothes. Um, the other thing is this LumaQuest softbox too. This is if I'm having to handhold it um, like this and take pictures. Um, and then it makes it easy and very manageable for myself. Slips in with my laptop, not even noticeable. Uh, and for my flash, I've got a whole bunch of these Honol gels, which I didn't mention, but I had a, a Velcro strap system wrapped around my um, flash and there's one here it's kind of all taped so this just it's got a rubber on the inside straps around the flash and then you can mount stuff like these gels to it and I keep it in this plastic bag with my camera because this plastic bag uh, as you can tell I like to do most of the stuff I can the cheap way or not cheap but inexpensive uh, I do what I have to but um, if it's raining or there's a lot of water or mist or whatever's happening, well drilling and there's you know water and mud splashing up. I'll just cut a little plus sign in here, uh, smaller than my lens. And then um, what I'll do is I'll put it over the camera like this and then push the lens through the X so it's really tight and uh, operate the camera from underneath the Ziploc bag like so with the lens pushing out so I don't cut it until I need to but I always have uh, one of these larger size Ziploc bags uh, carrying something in my gear if not a couple of them um, but that'll go in as well in the bag leaf filters these are uh, graduated filters they're great for uh, keeping this the sky exposed when I'm shooting video photos you can do a lot to pull the sky back but with video it's really hard if you're exposing for a person and there's a bright sun behind them or bright sky there's not much you can do either you expose for the person and lose the sky or you drop in a graduated filter like this and you, you expose both it's a uh, it's really great um, it's really upped the video quality uh, that I've been able to capture just by having uh, this little filter. I've kind of been putting things in out of my typical order here as I describe them, but this will also 
fit in here. Put the pocket wizards back in. Um, and at this point, it looks like I need to get my camera in. Um, well, if I'm more careful, I'll get this to close a little bit better than it did there. Uh, think tank, these are um, the modular component system that goes on the belt. First time using these on this trip, actually. It's a bunch of pouches to keep uh, lenses and other gear in all on my waist. I have the think tank, um, I think it was like a media bag or something where it had three drop-in spots and you could write, write your cables out to an audio recorder and all of that. Um, but it, it wasn't big enough for what I needed so I, I decided to switch this to this system. Uh, it holds my mic bag when I get on the ground. Um, my lenses and other goodies that I need to carry and that'll end up going in my checked luggage as well. Uh, the final couple little things, I use these Lacy rugged hard disks, they're Thunderbolt because I use a MacBook Air, I'm limited on the amount of ports that I have so I'll use a Thunderbolt here and I'll use um, a, a USB second one of these which is actually offloading right now uh, and then I can duplicate the image through Lightroom or duplicate, make duplicates of all my media when it comes through Lightroom onto two different drives all through this small little uh, MacBook Air goes in there, has horrible battery life so when I'm on a plane I use this little iPad mini and uh, this has great battery life so on these long flights like to Nepal I'd be on a plane for 28 hours or that's my trip time to Singapore and then another 16 to Nepal so I'm gonna need to have something to do on the plane to work, type emails, uh, work on scripts, stuff like that on my way back. So that's pretty much all of the big stuff. Um, all fits, like I said, into this little bag. I have to work on the system a little bit more, but just throw it on my shoulder like this in the airport. Try not to make it look like it's very heavy, but it's a tank. Um, and then, like I said, I'll add this onto the front here, and uh, that bag's good to go. Uh, last but not least, my third camera is my iPhone. I still am on the 4S. I'm, I used to be the guy that would upgrade this day the new one came out. The last one was this. I've got an auto clip that slips on here. Awesome wide angle lens for photos. Uh, the fisheye is great for video because uh, it only feels like a wide angle. Um, I use my phone naked, uh, no cases. I get a lot of questions about that. But that works best with the Allo clip and also with the little um, tripod mount for it because it shoots time lapse as well and a bunch of cool stuff. So other than that, just kind of cleaning gear. Uh, cool myself off in the car, clean out the camera, all-in-one Kensington junky just it's not junky but it's not rugged it's not like what everybody else uses Kensington I love this uh, it reads all the cards I needed it to it's portable I don't need a USB cable it's built in but it's not the expensive kind that a, a lot of people use that are Firewire or 800 and stuff that my computer doesn't have so other than that Moleskine notebooks taking people's names information and uh, these are memory cards in this Pelican Case, which was awesome when I had a lot of compact flash cards but now that a lot of what I'm using is SD if I don't have a case on them they kind of just fall all over the place and I have to try and keep track of them but I uh, need to maybe look and see if Pelican has a different version of that but uh, last I guess thing is the intervalometer getting into doing more time-lapse stuff um, as you can see this one still has a bunch of Kenya left on it it's really uh, dirty <laughs> But uh, I just use a, a strap. Usually it's a, I guess it's a, a think tank comes with these really cool little red straps that you can wrap around and so I just tie it off with that and uh, right to my tripod and keep it from swinging around. But that's it, that's most of the gear. Like I said, uh, it's all in this little bag. Now I get clothes, I can get through the airport with all of that stuff that was on this table packed into my carry-on. Uh, actually one last thing is, uh, Two last things, iFi card. I use this in my Fuji X-Pro1, awesome. Sends the pictures right from my, either my Sony, 
or my Fuji and it goes right to my iPhone and iPad so I can uh, send it. I have the international data plan on my iPhone so I can send pictures back from my Fuji right there that moment from my phone. Uh, really awesome little SD cards. Uh, I think I have the 8 gigabyte or 16. They, they didn't have very big sizes when I got it. But one of the coolest things, the most simple things, is this power squid. Um, when you're using all these different big block chargers like these cannons, if you carry a regular power strip, you can only fit one or two of the, you can fit like two of these on and nothing else. But you get on this squid and they all separate. You can put a whole bunch of stuff on on these. And I actually use one of the IKEA little three strip power strips. And, and both my Canon chargers fit right on that and, and go away. And from that point, it's just a matter of converting this over to the right power system using a bunch of things like this. I have all different kinds. This is the Walmart. No, actually, this is from like Ritz camera or something. It's Quantaray. So, um, but I've got Walmart brands. I've got Brookstone ones from the times that I forgot them and I have to buy them in the airport. Uh, but that's uh, that's all the gear that's. Basically, you helped me pack up for my next trip, so thank you very much.